Okay, today we're going to have a look at a nice, really nice surface grinder. This is a Sharp um, 618 surface grinder. This is actually a three axis with a uh, electronic down feed. Um, it's got an over the wheel dresser, uh, micrometer feed, very quiet. It's hydraulic, that's the coolant tank, original paint, currently wired for 220 volts. Uh, as you can see, it's running, the grinding spindle is running. Uh, so this uh, operator's box here, if I can spin it around. Right now we've finished the cycle. I've ground down uh, two thousandths, taken two thousandths off my workpiece and have returned to zero. So it's lifted up and gone back to the amount I took off. And you, you program that in over here. It's, it's too much to go into right now, but uh, there's a lot of pictures and diagrams to explain things. And the power on, your emergency stop, your cycle start. Uh, they're not using the chuck because this has a uh, permanent magnet chuck in here, a very fine pole, nice chuck, brand new chuck it looks like. Uh, cross feed amount is selected here uh, with a, this potentiometer. Uh, whether you want to plunge feed, uh, you also have surface grinding and plunge with this. So if you want to uh, feed down on both sides of your part, you can do that. Or like I have it set here to feed down on one side of the part. So if we were going to do... Um, <clears throat> This is your mode selector switch. This one all the way over here on the left would be a full cycle with down feed, meaning surface grinding. Uh, this would just be a, a warm up cycle with no down feed. This would be working by hand. And this would be a plunge with down feed. So we're going to start with that. When I start the uh, cycle, what you're going to see, since I have the switch on the one side, we're just going to feed down every other going back and forth there. And where we are, as far as what we're taking off, is shown on that bottom readout. So you, basically, you touch your part, you figure out how much you need to remove from it, you put that amount there, and wait till it gets there, and then it already backed up. So if you want, uh, we'll train the camera on the, on the wheel, and I'll run that cycle again. You see we've feed every other pass on the table. And we go into the fine feed and the spark out, and then it backs up. Uh, if I wanted to select to feed on both sides of the workpiece, which is an awful lot of grinding pressure, that's why they give you the choice. Now you'll see that we're going to feed on both sides. And that's all a little fine feed at the end there, and then the spark out. So that's what you have for plunge. Now when we want to go into the uh, surface grinding mode, then we come over here and s turn the selector switch to surface grinding. And we select a, uh, a direction to go. And now you have the cross slide moving. And each time it stops and reverses, it will down feed the amount we programmed. Really a nice little machine. So this cycle obviously is a bit slower than the plunge cycle. We're almost done. You'll know it's done when this amber light comes on if you don't catch the grinding wheel going back to zero. And of course the amount of this step is adjustable here. I can make it much smaller or larger. And there's nice dials, uh, adjustable dials on each hand wheel. And this is one of those uh, ones you can flip over. So it's sparking out right now. It's no longer feeding down. Now it went back to zero and the light came on. All right, folks, thank you very much. That's it for our video.